Ms. Van Overshell. Yes. Why are you here at the Hines County Courthouse today? Well, this is a depository for all the, roll, the poll books that uh, have been assimilated for and collected from the various precincts in the June 3rd primary. Uh, we are looking at the Democrat poll books to see who voted in the Democrat primary. Um, traditionally, uh, the Democrat primary roll book is then handed to the Republican uh, side of the runoff so that we can be sure that Democrats don't vote in the Republican runoff. Okay. Are you finding anything? Well, our findings are that we've got close to 800, maybe more than 800 people who actually have voted in the Democrat primary and then also uh, appeared before the uh, precinct to vote again in the Republican runoff. Okay. And how far along are you in your investigation? We are less than halfway okay. through this process. So we are really concerned, um, it's over. since we've already found 800 I'm, I'm uh, discrepancies, we're pretty right sure now. it's close to 800 that, we've, that we found that there are going to be many more in yeah, Hines County alone. Okay, you all are going to continue to inspect okay. all of the books? We want to get through the entire poll book uh, right. that we have, the collection, because there's so, so many precincts in Hines County. Okay. Do you have anything you want to say to Mississippi voters? Well, to, in order to ensure the integrity of an election, we have to be sure that the voters are registered voters, that they're qualified to vote in, in a given election, and that they um, have uh, voter integrity while voting so that they, they don't uh, cross uh, party lines from the primary to the runoff. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome.